Do you remember that YouTube trend where people would go to like one star versus five star places? Yes. Like going to the oh, worst reviewed. Worst rated nail salon versus five star rated nail salon or restaurant or I hotel. I saw one that fucked me up. And it was a guy who went to like one of the worst. It was a pizza place, but they also had like a lobster tail on the, oh God, I'm gonna throw the restaurant. Up. And he... Ew. Got the lobster tail. This is it a was one like, star. It was a one star. Did you and people were like, videos? "Do not get the lobster tail. Do not get the lobster tail." And he bought the lobster tail. Did he it get was sick? Disgusting. He didn't get sick, but I do think he like ate like a bite out of it. <laughs> oh my God, but that's so disgusting. I, some restaurants, <laughs> oh if you are like rated as the worst restaurant in your town how do you stay in business it's kind of camp I won't. <laughs> i'd make commercial be is. like come to the worst rated restaurant uh, it's, some people just don't look at that stuff yeah. like if that's just your local place where you go you're and you're you've been going there for 10 years you might not know what the rating is true like you there's a bunch of one-star ratings about you on this podcast uh, I, oh no, so many so many uh, but i'm not a food establishment yeah but you are a person <laughs> so like what do you do it's like the black mirror where you rate people oh. i'm kidding matt there's no one star i think i'd be forced you only want, i did look at our one stars because like oh maybe there'll be like a really funny do we one have a yelp page what are no. you talking no. about like, our podcast. podcast because you can rate podcasts on like apple, apple oh, Podcasts. you can go to the one stars i never thought yeah, about that you kind of just have to like look through but oh erin has great them, ideas for like the, the one stars were just like stop talking about politics and the other ones were just like, mean. No, it was just like these people suck. Like it was like stuff like that. Nothing yeah. really like of substance that was funny. Probably, probably a Taylor Swift fan said that. Yeah, probably. No, that there was a Taylor Swift suck. fan, but she I think still rated it like four or five stars. Oh, sorry. Just had some words for you. That's okay. I'm here for it. <laughs> Having a really good like Yelp reputation is like kind of hard to do, right? They are Yelp Especially is now. like Yelp is oh, the yeah. mafia. With they the internet. they yeah. are uh if you want to get your like bad reviews off your page and your good reviews on your page you need to pay yelp every month <laughs> like when i had the restaurant they How much like thousands of dollars a month <gasps> what you're you basically mean, when you had the restaurant i had a restaurant in new york burlap sack potato eatery what Did you guys you never knew this are you joking? Are you joking? Mike? <laughs> you look like you're... No! I'm, I'm in genuine you. shock you don't know this. No way! I, I ta life? We've talked about this on Hoot and a Half many times. Oh, it's I, cute. You think we listen. The burlap, the burlap sack. <laughs> I used to have a restaurant in New York City called the Burlap Sack Potato Eatery from like 2015 to 2017. Oh my god! We yeah. never once talked about what this on this have? podcast. It was a potato... <laughs> Matt's heard this so many times. It was a potato-based... Uh, fast casual restaurants like Chipotle huh? style service. There's no way. And look, look it up on Instagram. For years and I've never what known. What do you mean? A, a potato eatery that's it's like, like Chipotle? Chipotle? Yeah. yeah. So like you would start and with you a base. created it? Yeah. With Jared and two other friends. Oh. It was a base of potatoes. So you start with like a baked potato, sweet potato, uh, french fries, tater tots, and then you put the base in the bowl. And then on top of that, we had three different meats. We had steak, chicken, hand rolled turkey meatballs. Then we had yeah, uh, cheeses, and then before there was Jonas kebab. Basically, <laughs> yeah, was... <laughs> uh, and it was on Thirty Third and Third. You got a view of the Empire State Building. Was it and... like a big place? No, it was t it was smaller than this room. Okay, but it yeah. was like fifteen thousand dollars a month well, in rent. Like, yeah, Jeez. how did you pay for it? it we we raised money. A lot of our okay. like friends were in finance, and they had a lot of disposable income, so it was like a group. In two years, it lasted. It, well, we were we. It took us like a year to build it, and then we were open mm. for like a year. So, did you have like fans that were like, "No"? Yeah, I mean, we we were like, How "Bring your back Yelp? the sack, yeah. bring back the sack." <laughs> <laughs> but Instagram is still alive, Burlap Sack NYC. Um, you can see what, I, and I that's this how I actually got into like influencer stuff because I was in charge of marketing, and I would hit up like Instagrammers in New York and just give them at in 2016. You could just give them a free mail, and you get a feed post. From like an account that has fifty thousand followers, and then the next day we'd have like two hundred people like, oh, I saw you on, you know, brunch and oh. brunch and girls NYC. Do you wow. remember clout dot com like that yeah, website? That was What's nonsense? that? It was like before. Wait, it's so cute. Yeah, isn't, were, that, isn't that cool? Yeah. If you were really active on social media, you didn't even have to be that much of an influencer, but just a decent, uh, like active. User? It was like a clout score. You you would get a, a clout score, and then you could earn <laughs> prizes and redeem like and hell. claim influencer stuff. Hell. You would get like free gift cards to go places and post about. <laughs> oh, it. I, I would see, do I it see. all the time. I was like, like Wait, can I on this one? What does it say? Snuck a picture of some of the models naked. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the potatoes before they got. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had fun. 
Uh, but so you have to pay Yelp thousands so, of dollars. Yeah, so what happens is when you have a restaurant and you go to your Yelp page, if you don't pay Yelp and you're not like promoted by them, they will on purpose put the bad reviews always on the front of your page. You could have a hundred good reviews and five bad ones. If you don't pay for a Yelp subscription, they put your bad ones on the front page. That's crazy. That's so Jonah, funny Jonah had a problem with this too. He with their restaurant, like they their Yelp page was always just full of bad reviews. And so if you don't pay Yelp, they just basically it's bad. What? No, uh, Jonas no, no. Kebab's really good. No, but... like were they like people were they like leaving bad reviews because of like internet stuff? Or every of the every food. restaurant will have bad reviews. And it's just the like, start oh, okay. of, you know, when you're starting a restaurant, I know Jonah was saying that he was trying to get a lot of people like, please come write a great Yelp review. But then they like catch on that like, oh, you're having a huge surge of positive reviews. They'll start. Oh, but yeah, they're basically that like. That is so petty of Yelp. Yeah. yeah. If they're, I mean, that's their whole they're business money model. Hungry. Do you guys Yelp? Have you ever written a Yelp no. review? I've never yes, written a Yelp I've, review. I've written one one star. Let's pull, pull it up and let's see, let's hear what you, you wrote. You wrote a one star review. I, I wanna, sure I'm as curious fuck did. Let me see if it's even here. I have a friend who leaves Yelp reviews. So, like, for some reason, me and Aaron's got like merged. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. I was like looking for something and it kept thinking it was you. And I was like, what? Yeah, Yelp, and there was like a big push a couple of years ago for restaurants to be like, do not use Yelp, use like Google reviews or something else. Google reviews is much better. Oh, like a strike against yeah, Yelp. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Oh my gosh, I what? wrote a review for my dentist. I must you have did. been, I, okay, I had to have been high on like gas. I don't think I ever would have, there's, there's a picture I did this of two years ago, me and my dentist. <laughs> And I wrote, I wrote, I have, I've seen Dr. Mashud for the past two years and couldn't be happier. She and her team are incredibly communicative, transparent, enthusiastic, and have, uh, have a great sense of humor. I highly recommend I it. Did, was it when you were doing Invisalign? Like maybe it was part of your deal. I, no, this Invisalign, Post? that was like years oh, and years oh, ago. I this, this when you got I your love my dentist. Tooth? Uh, I don't know. I should have just been like, <laughs> write me a review. And I was like, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like that's most of my reviews. If I get like plumbing done or something, like if you leave us a Yelp review, like we'll take this money off. Yes. Right. So, yeah. They'll give you a discount or so, whatever. Uh, yeah. I've done that a lot. But my one star, they it just give you the regular price. What's the one star? <laughs> should for? I name the company? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I should. What kind Why? of, what kind no, of place because there might be a the, search. Let's not to, put them out of business. What kind of, what was, kind of place? Um, a restaurant? Air conditioning fixer. It's dope bricks. It's oh. dope bricks. <laughs> it I had a diarrhea after eating. Uh, all I said was, do not use them. They damaged my property and acted as if it was not their fault. Period. Oh, we Whoa. see. I would need more. I would I know. message you and be I, like, what's the tea But I also, I believe, created more accounts to also rate them one star. So I was like very preoccupied. You did? Yes. I was like, fuck this what place. Did they I was just so like, mad. posted it somewhere and be like, hey guys, can you please? No, I, I can't do that. What did but, they? What did they do? It's like this very boring long story, but basically we got our roof done okay. and there's a warranty on the roof. And so our roofing people were like, if you guys have people come up and check on the roof, we need to come back and just make sure it's still like if somebody well, you goes have a up condo there. complex, isn't yes. everyone under the same roof? Yes, we're all under the same roof, okay. but like HOA paid for a new roof. <laughs> Basically, what happened is I got my air conditioning fixed, and they the people who fixed the air conditioning punctured like a hole in the roof and like a tear, and they were the only people that had been up there since the roof was done. Mm. And so I contacted them, and I was like, "Hey, it looks like whoever was there did this," and they were like, "No, we didn't." And like, I don't have proof, obviously. Like, I don't have before and after photos, so it's like, or like uh. even the camera. Yeah. So I I knew that they couldn't really, I couldn't do anything because. Did they fix your air conditioning? Yeah, they did. Maybe, God, maybe two honestly. stars then, Carly, huh? No, one. How about we be Just a little one. generous? No, because they were so... Even even if they didn't do it, the way they acted to me when I called them uh, okay. was like, fuck. Like, they were like, nope, there's no way. I was like, of course there's a way. He was yeah. dragging heavy shit up there. Mm. Oh my God, it made me so mad. Dude, AC units are really complicated. Yeah. I wish I knew I how thought, to fix it. Like ours was like, had been going in and out, and I thought I could fix it. Oh, and I then did the I YouTube like how an AC unit yes. works. And are I'm you like, insane? Absolutely not. It is magic what an AC Dude, unit is. Yeah, there's the compressor, the freon, <laughs> yes. the heat pump. Like, yes. What do you think it is? Just an on and off switch? Yes, no, it's not I working. It was oh, that's that why. Simple. That was me my garbage disposal. It broke. Oh. Nolan was out of town, and my garbage disposal broke. 
and my sink was fine, but just my garbage. So, so, so I was like, I think I can fix it. So I like looked up a YouTube video and I was like taking it apart and I was like taking stuff out. And then I, but I it, it, like, I think I fixed it, but like I couldn't put it back together. Oh no. So then I couldn't even use my sink because <gasps> the water would have just gone everywhere. So I had to call a plumber. <laughs> have you guys ever looked at your dishwasher filter? I yes. need to. I need I've to. I've seen TikToks of people opening it up and like cleaning it out. And I've just... I now moving in with Patricia. She's lived there for years. I'm like, have you ever done that? She's like, no. And then I'm like, I don't want to do it. But... <laughs> oh, I would love to do. It. I, I love doing shit like that. Oh, I guess it would just be so nicer for the peace of mind knowing that yeah, it's clean. clean. What's what's in like just a bunch of food? It's, and it's all nasty. the food that goes down there, and it's just sitting there. <sighs> Ugh, but and I it's old smell and it if it was bad, but it's I guess under, all it's... it's like it'll take you less than two minutes to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. By the time you started talking about it till now, <laughs> you could have done it already. Yeah, but he'd probably be dry heaving. It's different. Yeah. Oh, I think it's just knowing it's down there. It would never make me want to eat anything in like my kitchen for a while. I don't know. Just being like, <laughs> oh. It's at the bottom out though. Of sight, it just out of mind. Yeah. That would gross me out. But I had to get my AC removed with a crane. A crane. A crane. The crayon? whole HVAC unit. A crane. Like a colored crayon rain a crane that's serious <laughs> yeah, that is it was serious. really cool i was just watching it from my kitchen like whoa like there's a crane outside my house mm -hmm. did you hear it go Phoom, on the roof yeah whoa on the roof yeah, yeah it's on a roof your it, ac is on the roof yeah the eight, whole hvac unit so that controls air conditioning and heat yeah I've mine's, never like, heard mine's of that. like that too a lot of ac units are on the roof especially in la i mean mine's on the side of the house i, I feel like i've only seen them on the side of the house in in buildings like in New York, they're on the roof, but huh. well, my house is a built. It's massive. I live in a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be on the roof. There's no room. Twenty thousand square feet. Real estate's precious out here, you know. I yeah. guess, yeah. I know. Whoa. Did uh, you leave tips on uh, for, uh, Foursquare? Remember Foursquare? Oh my god! I, you check in. Yeah, you would check in. Leave a tip. Yeah. What was the, there was one that was like beer. Uh oh, like a beer review thing. It was like Beer Square. Yeah, they were trying to come <laughs> no. up with all those types yeah. of apps and like the, the oh, late two thousands. Everyone square. was trying to. It's yeah. Uber for dog walkers. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Like I would never use Foursquare now. Never. You should find my friends. That's what it is. Yeah, but also I would be like, people are gonna just like track all of this information. Like yeah. look how dangerous actually yeah. it is. It's like, here's it, my there pattern. was also there yeah. was a there was another website that someone made called like please rob me dot com. <laughs> and it would take it square. would take people and when like it would just say, oh, these people are not home right now, so you can go rob their house. What? It would, it would take the Foursquare data oh, and, yeah. and make a population of, like, here's a bunch of people who just checked in and That's are definitely so not home. Up. And it's called pleaserobme.com. Before you go out to, like, a restaurant, do you check the Yelp? Like, before TJ you go? Does. I if like to see photos of it, food. No. I really don't care people's description of what how they enjoyed it, because I think everyone has different tastes yeah. and stuff. I'm just like... Let me see the pic of yeah, what the food yeah. looks like. I like yeah. pictures too. And I don't, I don't like, like a menu without photos. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know what this is. Or I can do TikTok now and I just like to see yeah. videos. Or, of I, I like Google image, like Google reviews. I'm very anti Yelp just because of my experience with them. But That's And I think fair. everyone should be too. They're a fucking terrible company. I just um, like, don't care about food that way. If someone's like, do you want to go here? I'm like, sure. Yeah. yeah. That's how I am too. But, but sometimes I look, if it's like a nice place, I'm like, I don't know what any of this is. Have you guys ever left an Amazon review? No. I don't think so. I, do you know anyone that's left an Amazon review? There's people doing it. Who I are know, these people? and sometimes people they leave like photos. I, feel I know. Like it's so funny. Who are these people? I know, and the people's homes are so disgusting. <laughs> Because you want to see what the product looks like, yeah. and then you're like, "Oh, but God, look at clean up this bedroom." Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm disgusted. I think I have a one star I have for this podcast that, that's like that. That's kind of like, cool. yeah, it's on something to do with the interior or something. Yeah, oh like, gosh. who is leaving reviews of like, pr uh, like a towel on Amazon? I wonder if Amazon has a thing where it's like, if you leave a review, you can be like, you'll get like credit or something. Yeah, I, I feel think like they, they do, have do that. stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. I've just never left a review for. I know it's crazy. Anything. There's like thousands and thousands of reviews on almost everything. Yeah. Everything has I don't reviews. know anyone that leaves reviews on Amazon. So, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, I'm reading the thoughts of a crazy person. Like, no matter what the review yes. is, <laughs> this is a this is yeah. a nut. Yeah. Like so, and no matter what it is, five star or one star, I'm like, I don't know a single person in my real life that's left a review. So I can't even imagine who was like. I always think it's just like some like. 68 year old like big yeah, burly like guy in like a basement in montana like this <laughs> was a terrible arcade and like uh, you know so i take it all with a grain of salt but uh, yeah i really appreciate reviews on like clothing 
Mm. Oh, interesting. Yes, I do too. Because I'm like, oh, size up, okay. size down. Yes, I really appreciate Color that. Color is true to the website. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It ships but other in than that, two I feel months. Like I don't really look at. I like reviews, reviews on like Etsy and well, stuff yeah, like those that. Are really helpful. Those are really helpful. To it see was the they... best when Amazon added for like clothing items the height of somebody who bought it. Yes. Two. We, we, oh, I can read so... reviews oh, of yes. only people who are six three. I'm like, thank you, because I just want to no, see what I these tall that. people. Think about, or like when oh, a website, yeah. I mean, most websites, they'll be like, model yes. is 6'2". Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, that doesn't help me. And I'm 5'2". Yeah. And they're all like lean, me. though, too. Oh, like, yeah, they're 6'2", but they're like yeah, the size yeah. of a stick. It's, it's like, like nobody cost. looks like this. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like those aren't always accurate. I feel like I, I feel like I know someone who's a model, and she would do that kind of modeling. And one time it had her height listed, but I was like, I know she's not this tall. Interesting. Yeah. It's funny when you go on a website and it is their own website and the reviews are just all one star. I'm like, Ooh. do you not have a website moderator? Like, <laughs> yeah. looking, like I went on. They're just really honest. I, I bought a, I don't want to blow the brand up, but I bought a comforter from that brand that you and Brooklyn? I like. No, oh, Buffy. Okay, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Come on, be honest. Well, no, we love this brand. Yeah. Buffy, they make great uh, com- comforters. And I, since the cat shit all over mine, I ordered a new one. <laughs> Um, and I was just like, I wonder if the reviews are like still good. And the first review is one star and it's like, this thing sucks. It was <gasps> super light and did not comfortable. And I was like, Buffy, get what it together. Yeah. I have a king. Oh, okay. Um, right. and yeah, I'm going to be sleeping with a towel tonight, but, um, <laughs> have you ever heard of that subreddit called buy it for life? Yes. yes love I that just subreddit. joined that. Yeah. I've it's great. It. It's just people who share products that like maybe it's they've owned for but years, like, but you'll they, have it forever. Yeah. There's oh. just, it has never broke down on them once. That's funny. And so, Noah and I were just talking about that. Cause it, like, we feel like a lot of parents always buy like Dell's or like desktop or, uh, I don't know what they're called. Like not Apple, like PCs. not MacBooks. Yeah. PCs, but those go bad <laughs> after a couple of years usually. Yeah. But MacBooks last a long time. And so it's like, He's like, my mom keeps buying PCs. It's what's it called? Planned obsolescence. Yes. Like people... Well, that also is a thing that's just happened in like society. What's like, your one thing? Uh, that I've had that I've Sorry, owned. Sorry, I completely just cut you off. No, you're good. If you weren't finished. I'm no, trying to think of something that I've owned that has never failed me. Yeah, or what, like one thing you like have a, for like life. Like a Dyson vacuum would be a buy it for life. Oh, like you I buy ha- a yeah, Dyson and you like you don't need to buy another one. Lululemon leggings. Literally buy them for life because really? they'll just replace them if they start getting frayed or mm. holes. Yeah, there's like tools. And they're kind also. of expensive. It used to be a thing also in back in like the fifties and forties, of course this comes back to capitalism, but like there used to be in the neighborhood, there would be like one guy with a grill, one guy with a lawnmower, one guy with a tool set, and like they would own it for life. And then in your neighborhood, if you oh. needed the tool set, you'd go to Jim's because he's got that. And then when Jim wanted a barbecue, and that was like a very American thing That's to like sweet. be in your community. But then some fucking accounting cucks in a boardroom are like, we can make more money if yeah. we convinced everyone that they each need their own thing and we can make even more money if we make these things break and not as quality. So like if you buy a typewriter from 1922, it will still work today. Yes. You can't buy anything today that will last a hundred years. Like Damn. think about it. Is well, there anything that could last a hundred years? No. So buy it for life. Maybe is my like a Dyson good... air wrap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe. I feel like there's things I have that or there's one thing in particular that I'm like so obsessed with that like even though it wouldn't last for life, I would continue to buy that same product. Yeah. What, what is, is it? it? It's a pair of shoes. Which shoes? shoes? <laughs> They're my um row boots. Huh? It, the brand is called The Row. Uh-huh. Mary the Kate row. and Ashley. That's their brand. Um and they Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen? I yeah. thought their brand's called Elizabeth. The Row. Oh. The Row. Okay. Um, and yeah, they are my favorite pair of boots. I they were like an investment piece. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would buy them over and over and over again. I don't know if that counts as buy it for life, but well, that's what I said. Yeah. I was like, I have things that like wouldn't last for life, but, but I yeah. would buy them for life. Okay. So or like, like a, I mean, it probably wouldn't last for life either. But like a one of my Prada bags, I'm like, I'll have this forever probably. Yeah. Like, buy for life. Yeah. Have you seen that guy that? takes leather stuff he's like a leather worksman yes. and he'll cut on TikTok open yeah to be like this is the quality actually and this yes. is what it should actually be like oh. like i just saw one last night that was like he took a what's the what are the big Bottega? purse companies huh 
Bottega Veneta? No, it's like a well known one. Yeah, Chanel. Oh. Um, he took a Chanel bag and was like, this is the Chanel bag. He cut <laughs> what? Just the biggest one. Whatever. You know, the brands. I don't know. He, cut, he, he cut it open and like he like figured out. He's like, okay, so this leather is worth about a hundred bucks. Yeah. The stitching's pretty good. This I would say probably like ten hours, so sixteen bucks an hour, $160. So this is a two hundred and sixty dollars worth of product, and it sells for twenty seven hundred dollars. And I'm just like, damn. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's because the name, though. I know. Well, was and it the it, smallest bag ever? Is twenty seven hundred not a lot? Not for Chanel. Oh. And the thing about Chanel's too is, I feel like their quality hasn't like gotten better, but they've increased their pricing a ton. <laughs> yeah, that's. Just, I mean, that's how it works. Slay. <laughs> Um, no, I've watched ones too, and it'll be like that. Like I really only buy Prada and Bottega, mm-hmm. and um, I will see those videos. And he's like, "Yeah, this is like a two hundred dollar bag," and I'm like, "I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'll pay the three grand." Yeah, <laughs> that's what they say about sunglasses and glasses. Oh, like yeah. really, are made oh. for like less than ten dollars. It's just plastic molded yeah. in, in yeah. tiny little screws. That's all put together. How Warby Parker got started. Yeah, they finally made like a cheaper model for it, yeah. but. Yeah, I saw on that subreddit someone was like, "Is there any way I could buy commercial grade uh, washer and dryer units? They're like those big silver like ones, hotels. <laughs> or like yeah, ones like at laundromats yeah. that are yeah. like built for pe- tons of people using yeah. it throughout one day. Yeah, and they last day. literally forever. Yeah. and so people were like, "You technically can, like, if you have room." Oh my god, have you made it to that side of TikTok where this guy owns a laundromat and he's like? No. Look how much money I made. Yes, no. and I get hooked to Me watching too. those things. People who own vending machines <laughs> yes. and, and laundromats. He just counts all the change, pours it in a little bucket. Makes yeah. like seven hundred bucks a day. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Those are like golf tip girls or golf. <laughs> oh, I love or, that girl. Uh, oh. Girls who just drive around and they'll Do just you know like those, serve the drinks. The one I'm thinking of. <laughs> the, the the blonde girl. Yeah, yeah I yeah, love yeah. her. Oh, I haven't gotten that. She's so cute. That's what I want. Put it on my feed. <laughs> T- uh, cart girl. Cart girl. Cart girl. Not cart narcs, Golf cart carts. Um, For some reason, last night my whole TikTok feed was just dogs. Oh, interesting. And specifically, golden retrievers, which was very huh. weird. I feel like mine's been weird lately. You ever scroll through TikTok and it's like not hitting right, so you just yeah. hit home again and yeah. then it's like back to normal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, like, it's like it's not hitting right. Not hitting yeah. right. I'm like, this is not or my. Do you like find one that's like so good, but you don't have time for it? But you're like, don't like. So keep that on there. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. always worried about yeah. like, oh shit, 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 shit. No, sometimes you hit home on accidents. Like, uh, well, the, you, and you, then you can never find it again. No, you there's can. A, there's, there's a, a watch, watch history. history. You That's can find too it. Much. It's it, it is like eight taps away. But yeah. yeah, like if you if you ever like switch hands and then you're like left oh, yeah. hands on no, it. No, I do it all the time. But accident. sometimes I'm literally like, what did I even hit? Like, I know. Where yeah. did it go? I know. And then it's crazy to see what you've already watched, and it's like thirty, and you're like, wait. I like. I kind of remember all these. I just opened yeah. this app. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I literally just opened the app. Um, okay. Well, I feel like we can get started. Yeah, yeah. sure. I'm happy to begin. Yeah, we thought I feel it'd like be mine's funny. A little. Uh, oh, go ahead. We thought it'd be funny to find a bunch of one star reviewed things because usually, I mean, sometimes it's valid. But this is a review for Home Alone Two. <laughs> okay. One star. <laughs> Where did you find this? They are criminals, but nobody deserves to be hit in the head over and over again by a brick. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's the review. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's just so funny that people take their time to say yeah. that. Because it's like, it's a movie. And also you're what watching you... it and you're like, you know what? He really didn't deserve that. <laughs> I'm going to go and leave a review. He just robbed them. Yeah. Wait, that was Tortured on a... Yelp? Or was this just these one just star like, reviews? These are just one star reviews. reviews. Oh. Did you only go to Yelp? Damn, I guess I thought that's it was okay. Yelp that, only. I kind of yeah. struggled finding them. I know. It was a little difficult. I really, I spent some hours. I have I one. Put in work. And honestly, it doesn't even matter what it's about, like what the review is. It doesn't even say. It just says, <laughs> has one star. And it says, yes, I know I said one star. I do not like the color yellow. So I always rate one star so that there is less yellow on my screen. This is a positive review, not a bad review. I am rating one star to prevent yellow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I mean that is this person is it's like <laughs> all caps. Cool. Like it's what just, on earth? I like that they cross out their name with yellow too. That's funny. <laughs> with yellow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I have another one. Please. Okay, so there's this book called Where is <laughs> Where is Baby's Belly Button? It looks like this. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I know you used like this site. I saw is there a specific? Yeah. I, I got stuff from like a lot of different places. Yeah. The one star review says, do not buy this book. You can see the ending right on the cover because <laughs> it's called, yeah. where is my ba- baby's belly button? <laughs> to me, I read this one and I feel like they're being funny. 
<laughs> I hope. Oh, I think they funny. are. You that think? Okay, yeah. well, I'll read it anyway. It says, this book is completely misleading. The entire plot <laughs> yeah. revolves around finding baby's belly button. The title makes this much clear from the beginning. However, there is no mystery. There is no twist. The baby's belly button is right where it's supposed to be on baby's stomach, <laughs> right where it clearly shows you it is on the cover of the book. The plot is a complete mess as a result of its reliance on the mystery of where the belly button is. Everything falls apart the second you realize that the belly button was in plain sight all along. There is no conflict. There is no character development. There is <laughs> scarcely there is scarcely any plot. Whoever wrote the book must have a serious error in judgment because you would have to be an infant to not immediately understand where baby's belly button is this is one of the worst pieces of literature i have ever yeah, read like they're being funny i hope so. i hope so yeah. yeah that is that's unhinged <laughs> this one is for um uh mary kate nashley's passport to paris uh, <gasps> uh one star review not a good role model you think mary kate and ashley movies are all safe for little eyes but this one is not two bratty boy crazy preteens <laughs> go to visit their ambassador grandfather in paris and proceed to run around from their chaperone and ride around in paris with boys on mopeds not a good role model save your money <laughs> <laughs> not a good role model oh my god, god. <laughs> people are unhinged did you want to go? No. Do you, okay. Go ahead. Did you get any? I did. Okay. Um. This is just, this is like a restaurant. So imagine you're a virgin and finally meet a beautiful girl that loves you and wants to spend the rest of her life with you. Only problem is she's super religious and wants to save herself for marriage. But she's amazing, so you go along for the ride and eventually propose. The wedding goes swimmingly and is the most memorable night of your life, but the anticipation of making love to your soulmate lingers in your head the entire time. You finally go up to your hotel room on your wedding night and anticipate finally experiencing the beauty of human sexuality. You undress and so does she. She leans in and whispers sweet nothings into your ear and you are about to seal the deal when suddenly she shoves a pine comb up your ass and just... <laughs> <laughs> What is this one star review of the person? That's a hotel. <laughs> um, a pine come up your ass and shoots herself in the head. This is what? 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 Jesus! That took such a crazy turn. <laughs> this is what the Highlander is like. Oh, <laughs> oh, so it was oh all, my it was god! All yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> shoves a pine cone up your ass and shoots herself. <laughs> Okay, this one is a candy store. Ooh. It's a one star right now. It's only a water challenge. Just hold water. Right <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Okay, one star review. If you want to find one of the world's most racist store owner, come to this place. But I rated it one because it's not the candy's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. Oh my God. Um, I did see one. <laughs> this is a stupid one. Uh, there, there's two movie ones. So one is a movie review for Monsters, Inc. 2001. <laughs> okay. One star. Too many monsters. <laughs> <laughs> and then another one for Mission Impossible. One star. The mission was not impossible. <laughs> uh, Sorry, yeah, I thought those yeah. were funny last no, night. Uh, <laughs> um, I found one with a little T. Okay. So it's like Ooh. someone posted a review and then the person wrote back. Ooh. Okay, <sighs> okay the review. Uh, they're leaving a review for a hairdresser. Jen has subpar skills. Could have done better myself at home with a pair of scissors and a trimmer. She has a sailor's mouth, extremely unprofessional, and her salon smells like a wet dog. If you are a regular... A regular expect Jen to air dry your dirty laundry to anyone who is unfortunate enough to be in her chair. Stay away from this business. She responded. You left out the part about you showing up an hour late to your appointment slurry drunk. The wet dog smell could be attributed to you making out with my dog for 10 minutes. What? Hey, bro. You were so trashed at 9.30 a.m. that you couldn't even stand up straight. When I told you not to drive home, you told me you sound like my wife. Then you drove away. It took you two attempts to leave the parking lot, barely could operate your truck, so I called the sheriff and gave them your information. Now you're over here harassing me, failing to accept any responsibility for your own behavior. Act like a 50-year-old man-child and blame everyone else for your crappy personality. 
In case you ever wondered why your daughter doesn't speak to you anymore, <laughs> this is why. Oh my god. What? I love when the owners uh, clap back. No. It's so funny because it's like, oh shit. That's what Yelp was made for. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Yelp yeah. headquarters has to be like, did you see this? Yes. <laughs> like, Could you have... imagine just going, like you're looking for a hair salon and then you see that? I'd be like, well, I'm obviously going <laughs> yeah. to this hair this stylist now and I'm going to find out the rest of the story. I do like when the owners will clap back but also just be completely unprofessional and they're oh, just yeah. like yeah well you're fat and smelly and stupid and anyway like, so we don't want your business and yeah. you're just like i don't know about that the supercut ceo is like hey <laughs> <laughs> That's you so crazy. gotta be a little i just saw a tiktok of the hair salon where this like drunk lady would not leave oh have you... that, where she was like combing her hair a bunch She's is, like, it the one? Rob... Rob... is she like robin the one who kind of looks like shailene woodley have you seen that one no. where she's like give, dyeing her hair mm -mm. and she was mean to like her Oh, the assistant or the something? Assistant. I saw that a long time and ago. She's like, Robin, Robin, that's really mean. Yeah. I love that one. I know, I love that Aww. one too. She's like very like, that was mean. And like she like out. tries to <laughs> attack her. Yeah. I she's saw like, you that need to get one out. last night that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, me too. She was so unbothered. I know. Well, she the was woman drunk. brushing her hair. She was just like brushing her. She's like, hey, get out. Yeah. I'm. Get, I'll leave. Have you ever had? Are you not, if a person's cutting your hair and they're doing a bad job? Oh, I'm like, oh, do, it's are great. you like it's great? Yeah. Or yeah. I've, I've never gotten a good haircut. <laughs> yeah, ever? rarely. I've never gotten a good. One time, I got an amazing haircut. Went back to the guy the, a month or two later, and the thing he said right before he cut my hair was said, "I'm going to give you the best haircut you've ever gotten in your life." And he did. I came back like a month later, he had no clue who I was. <gasps> and I go, you said you were gonna, you you gave me the best haircut of my life. And so I'm coming to you he again. He said to everyone. And he was like, yeah, all right, man. And then like I showed him a picture of what it was. He did the worst job. And I was like, what was that? Like what happened here? Yeah, what happened? Oh no. Bummer, but. Uh, I mean, I haven't in years. Got I have haircut? like my lady that I love. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a new lady. <laughs> Go to ours. What's her She's name? Great. Emily. Our lady moved, so oh, April. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, April. She was the best, but uh, no, yeah. I've never really like have told someone like this is not good. I did one yeah. time. Was like, is this uneven? Oh yeah, and that's it a good. Clearly was, but she couldn't do anything about it. Oh. So oh, it'll be. I fine. know it's funny, like phrasing it as a question to not put them down. Yeah, I, is this uneven? I can't tell. Well, like it really is. Um, I found this one specifically for you. Okay. I love this school. It's full of incredible opportunities. The academics are remarkable. There's no sh shortage of people to meet, etc. But let me get to why I'm writing this review. I lived in Jester West dorm my freshman year, and I loved it. It was a convenient location. Amenities are decent. It's near the gym, etc. Across the board, I'd say my freshman year experience has been awesome. Attending UT has been an honor and pleasure. But do you know what isn't a pleasure? Rectal bleeding. That's, <laughs> what? that's right. Minor anal fissures caused by the university's choice of toilet paper. Oh. I've been, <laughs> I've been keeping count and I've had nine conversations with peers over the past semester who've experienced this unfortunate situation. I can also tell you from personal experience that it is incredibly funny, but even more incredibly painful. I would rank my freshman year experience of five out of five if it weren't for this literal pain in my ass i would humbly request the university to step up their tp game and invest in something a little more forgiving than the sandpaper currently in use on campus damn you should have lived your... i lived in jester east not jester oh. west oh, so I, maybe jester different experience. East, i we i bet that kid lived in a like a communal do bathroom mm. dorm where they all had to share the same bathroom because i was like was my toilet paper no i had you a had share Charmin? i shared a bathroom oh. with another unit and i think we had our own toilet paper uh, so nice. damn toilet paper is no joke i know well I know. rectal bleeding and i know there are students way to take it what was their name i don't know <laughs> did he you look up jester east reviews or did you just no, find this one ut oh wow <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have their name this is from 2019. Wow, that's pre-pandemic. Yeah. Hopefully, they've stepped up their TP game since this review. What is what is the best toilet paper in the game? Is it Charmin? I, I use I like Charmin. Yeah. The soft, ultra soft. Yeah. Just pick up whatever. But also, ply. I have a bidet. Single ply should be illegal. Yeah, I grew up using Scott. Hmm. Scott's kind of cheap. Yes. It looks like it would be super soft and great, and then you get it, it and you're not. like, no. But I didn't mind it got the job done but now that i you know i've mm -hmm. experienced more um can i read one for peter luger's steak do you guys know what this is no but go this ahead is peter luger is like the 
fanciest, most expensive, like best steakhouse in New York. It's known mm. for just like top tier white tablecloth, like oh. expensive, fine dining. You get the picture. One star. Title is best place to ruin a birthday party. <laughs> no. <laughs> even with a reservation, you wait, even though we forewarn them of a special birthday celebration, absolutely nothing. No candle, no song. <gasps> Very oh, nice waiter. No. But when you say you are not into raw meat and then you are served not one, but two undercooked steaks, you wonder why they are still in business. The cut up <laughs> animal is disgusting. And then the waiter drips the grease onto my plate. Yuck. I'm getting more upset <laughs> the more I'm writing. And I remember this special day was <laughs> ruined by Peter Luger. Do not waste your time or cab fare on this joke of a joint. Why are you going to a steakhouse if you don't like me? Idiots. Yeah. Idiots. And like, ew, a cut up animal. It's like, you ordered steak. Yeah. Well, also, me. expecting like a Peter Luger steakhouse to be like, oh, it's your birthday. Everyone gather around. Yeah, let's sing happy birthday. It's not a TGI. Banner. It's like not a TGI Fridays. It's yeah. like. Also, I feel like at nice steakhouses too, like most people aren't ordering like medium well right. steaks. Like, yes. You... The chef will normally cook it to like what the taste of the steak should be. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is it just me or do they not do like birthday songs as much as they used to do? Or am I getting older and I'm just not going like, to not, restaurants? Not like Applebee's. <laughs> On TikTok last night that made me crack up. They were at this woman and her mom were at a restaurant and it was the mom's birthday. And the waiter came over and just started singing like happy birthday, but like an opera version <laughs> by herself. Yeah, it was like a guy singing <laughs> opera and like the mom, you could she was like this like older woman and you could tell she was trying so hard not to laugh. Oh <laughs> like in this person's face. It was very funny. <laughs> but they should do that more. Yeah. Bring back I the know. birthday song. Um I have one more. It's a review for the Anne Frank House. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my. It is a one-star review for the Anne Frank House. <laughs> Anne Frank. And it was not by Anne Frank. Where is, where is the Anne Frank House? In Amsterdam. Okay. Um, I live in Amsterdam, but I never really got the opportunity to visit the Anne Frank House because there was already there's always so many tourists. I visited it once, had to wait for two hours to get in. When we were inside, we had to walk in a straight line. It was very claustrophobic. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> it's just like a, an Airbnb. Buddy, she lived there in hiding. I How know, do you think I she know. feels? It's just like <laughs> I was gonna. I, I was gonna Is, look up like one star review for Auschwitz because there's definitely someone who oh has that. But God. I don't know if that. I don't oh, wanna... do it, <laughs> do it. <laughs> like I'm sure if I look on like Google reviews for Auschwitz to visit now, there's probably a one star review. But I don't know. I'm sure. Uh, there was one for the Ford's Theater, and it was one star review left by Abraham Lincoln. He goes, oh I was murdered here. <laughs> Would not recommend. <laughs> Dang, now I just got the thought. I want to look up like theme park one star reviews because oh, yes. they're probably so crazy. Uh, there's, I won't read the whole review, but it's long. Someone said Eiffel Tower, more like Awful Tower. One star. <laughs> Awful Tower. <laughs> That's a sleigh. I found one for Coachella that okay. is just, Ooh. it's very, I don't know. I feel like it's like kind of sounds like Mike. <laughs> like me? Whoop de doo. <laughs> Several days of hot blazing sun, sweating all day, fighting off flies during the day, and squatting mosquitoes all night while sleeping outside, using smell of porter potties, standing in long miserable lines for five minute showers, long lines everywhere for overpriced food and drink, more crowds, loud <laughs> ear piercing, deafening bands, and more crowds and wall to wall people. All this, this was in 2012, all this for the extraordinary bargain price of $300. I think having my chest hairs pulled out <laughs> and all my teeth yanked without anesthetic would be more fun. Oh my it God. It would be hard, but I think I'll pass. So they didn't even go. <gasps> yeah, this That's... is me. I've never been. <laughs> I would probably yeah. say the same thing. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, there was another one. It says, it sucks. The venue is outside. Some volunteers have sold illegal and legal drugs. There are naked guys, almost naked girls, drug addicts, and more. If I can choose zero or negative, I'll choose negative one million stars. <laughs> like, what? Also, where do they rate Coachella? Uh, Yelp. Oh, on Yelp. Yeah. Oh, weird. I mean, that person sounds like they had a miserable time. Almost naked girls. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone's grandma write this? <laughs> yeah, there's naked men. Um, I have a one star review for a hotel. Matt, Matt, I think you'll like this one because it's like about um, decor. Kind okay. Of. Okay, one star. This hotel was as welcoming as a neck and shoulder rub from Bill Cosby. <gasps> we found the Keating, K E A T I N G. Keating? Keating? What's like that? 
Like the poet? No, I'm thinking of Keats. I don't know. Keating. Is it found the Keating to be absurdly loud, outdated, and off-putting? It's probably the name of the hotel. Ki- uh, maybe Kitchen? No, it's probably the hotel. Uh, we booked an upper floor spa suite. What? 1900s mixed with modern Italio Industrio Fabio Decor. <laughs> Take it down. Even worse is a peculiar peculiar odor in the room, like a mix of stale corn chips and prison shower mold. Oh. And the bathroom, nuanced, like damp chipmunks. We started worrying when instead of mints, we got foam earplugs that turned down. Do not venture too far into the deep, dark corners. Down. Yeah, the deep, dark corners of the room. This is where items put in. This is where items put in wadded up napkins have come to die since 1900. <laughs> the, the hotel basics that you would expect didn't either or either, uh, either didn't exist, didn't work or barely worked. Spa tub broken. Toilet begrudgingly. Coffee maker. Don't touch this. Windows that fully close. Sorry. Shower door, bring your own. Parking. There has to be parking, right? Nope. <laughs> Wi-Fi, no internet. Oh my god. Do they mean wet in- intestinal fungus inside? <gasps> oh, for Sounds Wi-Fi? Like... Okay. Ew. Upon each oh. problematic encounter, we called down to the front desk, shift manager, and even got the general manager on the phone the next day, resulting in, coincidentally, the same fake excuses. We'll send maintenance up, fibs, and false apologies. You get this strange vibe that this isn't their first disgruntled customer rodeo. Don't stay here unless you're a tasteless, <laughs> unbathed coke junkie with a recent tetanus shot pimping a hearing aid with low batteries and absolutely no expectations of being treated as a paying guest stay at hard rock or the w or one of the two hiltons jeez have you guys ever had bad hotel experiences Mm, not like that not like that you You have. have i when i drove across the country our first leg was driving from massachusetts to nashville it was like 17 hours we did it in one damn day yeah we get to the hotel we're so fucking tired we're staying at like an econo lodge we booked along the way because we were like Ooh, we might lodge. stop but to be fair <laughs> i lived in one for a whole semester in college and it was fine why did you live in an econo lodge because they overbooked housing <laughs> and they put you in an econo they, lodge for dorm room they turned yeah. the whole top floor in the econo oh, the lodge paper. into a dorm room oh my oh god my. yeah how's the toilet paper Great. Okay, well, I had my own bathroom. It was amazing. Oh, oh, you said this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so it was like the it was like forty dollars to stay there. We were like, great. We check in, get to our hotel room. It definitely was like creepy vibes. It was not giving the Econo Lodge I lived in. <laughs> and then I like brushed my teeth. Even in the bathroom, we were like, we're keeping our shoes on. Oh. I go to get into bed, pull my sheet down, and there is puke <gasps> all oh, yeah. over the bed what yeah it was like dried puke it was <laughs> <laughs> you fucking men Dude, are so I... like I'm... the bed was tucked in okay, it was okay. made the bed was made and there was vomit and so then obviously we were like good bye we like immediately left did you get a different room or yeah, a hotel it was, yeah it was like a whole thing though did it you took let us, them like, know hours. and they were like sorry Oops. I literally, I think we just left. I l- cannot even remember. And I probably like called the next day, but I was like, we got to get out of here. Oh my. How do, like, it looks like how a does crime that get past? scene. Like, how does that pass how- when they do the clean? And you tucked it in. Yeah. <laughs> like I had to take it out of the side and pull it down. Maybe it was the maid. And it even gonna, had the flap. That is, <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. Have you ever, did you ever like want to then, this person like, it almost feels cathartic to just type out every single thing that went wrong. And you're just like, this is what happened. And like, did you feel no, the urge to do like that? It was like a horrible night. Yeah. Like, because there was a convention happening in Nashville and it like snowed. So everyone um. was freaking the fuck out. <laughs> and like, literally the reason I left Massachusetts is because we just had like 106 inches of snow. And I was like, I need to get out of here. Yeah. And then there was like an inch of snow on the ground we called every hotel like every single one of them was booked and like i was so poor at the time like we were splitting a 40 dollar room yeah right? and so then i finally called it was the last place i called it was the indigo this guy answered and i literally just was like please like i just found puke in my bed like let us <laughs> stay here and he's like okay 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 like i'll figure something out like we don't have anything left but i'll figure it out Aww. and then we went there and he he's his name was delaney he was amazing Aww. i will never forget him wow love him my I, king i had like a terrible like hotel experience one time i went to i was going to miami for art basel oh. todd and like one of our buddies was out there and i was staying in uh one of his buddies room eric that's right and i they're already out and about uh partying in miami i get in late 
Um, but they told me, just go up, say the room number, and you're on the list, and they'll give you the key, and you go up. I'm like, awesome. So I get to the hotel, and this is the Fountain Blue in Miami. Oh, yeah. Super, super really nice, nice hotel. I check in, and they go, all right, here's your room number. Here's the key. Great. I go up to the room number. I get in. I'm like, all right, okay, everyone's stuff's kind of here and everything. And then I go into the bathroom, and I'm sitting about it. Got to take a poop, you know. I've <laughs> been on an airplane for a long time from L.A. to Miami. And I'm sitting down, and I'm like, I'm in the bathroom, just on the toilet. And I'm looking at, like, all the stuff that's in the bathroom. And I see, like... Uh, a girl's like straightening iron and like a hair cur curler oh, no. and then like a makeup bag. And I'm like, is there a girl staying with us on this trip? Oh no. And I'm like, there's only like one bed and like <laughs> me and Eric got to share it. And I'm like, this is, I'm like, I, I think it's just strange. I'm like, I didn't know yeah. a girl because that means that means someone else is staying in this room with us and I'm not going to have anywhere to sleep in. Eric said I could sleep in this room. <laughs> and I'm like, go in the bathroom and then I'm like, whatever. And then like I call Eric. I'm like, hey, I checked in the room and everything. Um, is there a girl that's staying with us? And he goes, no. And I go, well, there's a straightening iron and all this stuff. And I take a picture of it and he goes, that's not our room. <gasps> So I had gone, take it in, a poop. Take, I went into somebody's room, <laughs> took a shit. How did you get in? They really, they gave they, him the key. They, they gave him the key. They like, gave him the key. They gave him the wrong name, the wrong room the wrong room. I feel like everything. that happens way that too happened often. To but I oh. think what happened was, I think that it was another Matt King who oh. was staying there, but with his <gasps> wife. But that, thank goodness the couple wasn't in there. Yeah, or they get up in here to see They see me coming out. Yeah. Who knows what would happen? But I really want to know if they came back like 30 minutes later and were like, Why does it smell? Did you take a shit? <laughs> Who took a shit? I didn't take a shit. That is oh, insane. I love like, that you took a shit. And I went back. That was like one time I was really angry going, oh, what? Yeah. That was like out of my like safety comfort zone. No, I, yeah. Something yeah. bad could have happened. Yeah. But the thing is, like, the other room was, like, paid for. So what are they going to do? Hook me up for a free room in the middle of Art Basel? They should have just, get, like, like, taken it off your I film. guess they should have. I or, was like, like what the hell you. was that? What the hell was that? That, that happened to me. I was at the Hoxton in Williamsburg a couple years ago. They gave me and TJ and the dog the key. This is your room. We get up there. I open it, but the <laughs> latch is on it. Oh, yeah. That happened to me. And so then I was like oh weird and like in my mind i'm like it somehow must have got unlocked from the inside yeah. <laughs> and then like we tried it a couple times i said like hello and no one said anything so then i was like well i don't fucking know went back down to the front desk the guy was like that's weird and like was kind of rude about it like saying that like we're dummies one star we go up <laughs> yeah he does it the latch locks again and then someone comes and opens the door and it was just like a girl who had been napping <gasps> And <laughs> it was like so weird. Like it's oh, such a weird yeah. feel. Like thankfully she yeah. had it latched because yeah. we could just walk in the room. I was sleeping in a hotel once when that <gasps> happened. I, I I was like right before I went to bed, I was like, let me just throw the latch on. And I'm I, I never do that because I'm like I'm a fucking dude. I can beat up anybody. <laughs> and this one night I just decided to latch the door. And then at one in the morning it opens <gasps> and it's like two girls like giggling. Oh okay. And I was like, huh? And they're like, let us in. And I'm like, what? And they're like, who? <gasps> our room and i was like are what what and i was like like not understanding yeah. what's going on and then i just like i was like oh my god this is a scam i'm about to be killed so i just like <laughs> kicked the door shut and then slammed it and then did like the deadbolts lock yeah. and they were like hello hello and then i like looked through the people and i realized it was just two girls but i was like my adrenaline was like through the roof because i was yeah. like thank god i decided to latch the door oh my god but uh, i went down the next morning and they were and i was like hey i think you might have given my key to the wrong room and they were he was like i am so sorry these girls came back and i didn't they weren't clear about what room they were staying in and like it was my Ooh. mistake i'm so sorry and he ended up giving me like a 75 dollar discount or something but um, there's nothing. Worse. Always lock your fucking doors when you. Yeah, when yeah. You go to there's a like hotel. I see too many tick. They have like these like things now that they can slide under your door and like unlock yeah. everything. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, the latches are not foolproof, but like in the event of just someone accidentally well, coming yeah, to no, your I room, I think like the worst version of people like comes out is the moment when like you're still in bed, you're staying at a hotel, the, and you hear the the, the, the cleaning lady's like knock, and you go, go, no, thank you, and they don't hear you, and they Do open it, and you're yeah. like, no, thank you. <laughs> Oh, we said no, thank you. It's just like, yeah. who is this like demon that comes out? Don't clean no. my room. Yeah. 
stop stop. bleeding. I like never have them cut. Like I've always just keep the thing on oh, the door. Oh, do not destroy, but no matter what. Yeah. I don't need. Oh, I don't but it's coming back and it's like all made. No, nah, dude. I feel like it's a waste. And like my laptop is in there, and like my yeah, passport. No, I, like I don't it. want. If any I need sh- like towels replenished or something, I just steal them off the cart. Oh, that's lucky. Yeah. Steal them off the cart. They're always pushing a cart full of fresh towels. Instead of, like, letting them come into my room, I just grab some towels. I'm pretty sure when we went to Fountain Blue for the Super Bowl thing. um... (laughs) 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 Whoops. Oh, my God. Sorry, go on. I was going to say, I feel like when we stood at the Fountain Blue, David and Jason were there, and they, remember they got a room key, and they walked in, and a guy was sleeping? Like they walked, remember. They fully went into the room, because they were like, huh? And I, this guy was just sleeping. I guess this happens more frequently than... Yeah, I but don't it was like also that. at the Fountain Blue. I'm Whoa. pretty sure it was that trip. That, that was just so nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Strange. I always do the big latch, though, because I'm like, no. Oh, yeah, I do, like, all of them. When I was in Vegas, I stayed at the MGM this weekend, and they didn't have one. They didn't? No. What? Yeah. Did they have a deadbolt? Yeah, but it was weird. You had to, like, put the doorknob up. Oh, yeah. But so I originally was like, they don't even have a deadbolt? <laughs> I The closest I came to a one-star review recently was when I was in New York, and United Airlines kept canceling my oh, flights yeah. and not letting me leave the fucking city. And I took a page out of Matt's book and I was like about to write this huge fucking email to like somebody. I was just so frustrated that I couldn't get home. And I'm like, all I want to do is go home. My flight gets canceled. Like, I'm so fucking pissed. So I just opened up chat GPT and I was like, (laughs) act like a therapist. I'm fucking pissed that my fucking flights are canceled. All I want to do is go home. United Airlines is not. Act like a therapist. I thought you were going to say chat GPT, like write an angry email to like. No, no, I just like Just using it to vent to. Yeah. Yeah, Because I was just like, I like I called. They said my flight would be booked the next day. It wasn't booked the next day. Now I can't get out for three more days. This flight got canceled. And like chat GPT was like. Travel can be stressful, and like <laughs> things I happen. I would literally throw my phone. Like, shut up! Like, shut the fuck up! You don't know anything. You're, you're AI. You're a robot. But then I did. But then I did when I got home. Like I said, now act as a lawyer and use all this information yeah. and write me a letter to the Department of Transportation to file an official complaint. Did it work? I mean, I yeah. Okay. ChatGPT wrote me a thing, and then what's even better is like ChatGPT wrote like a fucking sick thing. Like <laughs> like you're a lawyer. United flight. What is supposed to take off at this day, and it didn't take off for six hours, and it whatever. I go to the Department of Transportation website and it's like a thousand characters or less. And I was like, if I had written that, I'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? So I just go chat GBT, make it a thousand characters or less. Boom, done. Nice. Sent it in. I, I will see what I happens. I can't wait till but... we don't have to think at all anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is so great. People who are working in customer service are just sweating. Because <laughs> they're getting like this <laughs> so legal many. threats oh every day written by AI. Like they're yeah. like, boss, uh, we're, getting, we're about to get sued here. From like a 15-year-old who just wrote on chat GBT, be a lawyer. No, no it's, for it's real. The, it's so good. I mean, we'll see if I... I, I call, I'm out like... like 1500 bucks because of United Airlines. Ugh. Wait, why? You had to buy a new flight? I had to buy a new flight. I Stay I spent money hotel. on Ubers. I spent money mm-hmm. on food that I wouldn't have otherwise spent living in New York for yeah, an extra should, week. Um, um, I you. missed a Hoot and a Half podcast that we were going to do that we had to push to the next week. Like, there was... Hmm. Yeah. Sue. So, yeah. What? Financial hardship. I have a one-star review for Suits. Suits? <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's Get hear it. Get out of here. It's this is Matt. bullshit. This is written by Matt. Yeah, yeah Matt wrote We can decide it. if it's accurate or not. If only there was a TV series that could show how law firms don't operate. Well, here it is. Okay, so lawyer. <laughs> Large law firms have, have significant security for obvious reasons. Never has a client or opposing counsel been given access to the attorney's office without the attorney being present. The writers were great at making a profession seem like high school games. See? Boring. That's, right. That's so stupid. Yeah. Harvey Specter and Mike Ross would it's never like, put up with something like okay, this. I have one more of Suits, but it's not really about oh. Suits. It's just like beard. This show was terrible. I watched it on my own and I was so lonely. <laughs> I hope to become a part of the team, but really it made me more lonely. <laughs> this was written by Lewis Litt. Yeah. <laughs> I do recommend, however, just make sure you have someone to watch it with. Sadly, I didn't. Hashtag lonely life. Oh, oh my God. Like, what? Give him a little hug. That's. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have one for a book. Everyone in this book should have died. Boring <laughs> beyond boring. If I died today and this was the last book I had read, I would haunt Donna Tart. What? <laughs> <the heck>? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Who
Oh, I wow, only Aaron. finished it because I was doing a buddy read with a friend. It took me days upon days because it became such a chore. I better hurry and start another book in case I actually do die today. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> I'm offended. There were some really funny um, The Secret History reviews. That's oh, well, I get I get why. It's not a book for everybody. Yeah. But... I also have to, like, avoid, because, like, on Goodreads, they... Spoil it? Yeah. yeah. I and still have I, your copy. I need it. to give it back to you. Of The Secret History? Yeah, I remember oh. you gave it to me. <laughs> no, no, no. I, don't I tried to read it. I couldn't get past the third page. We, actually? Yeah. We're too dense? It's just... I, I'm just, like, in a He's Kurt rinsed. Vonnegut short story. Oh, you like it just... <laughs> Quick into the I read point. this one, yeah. too. Words cannot express how I felt. I feel about this book. There aren't enough cranky-looking emojis in the world to express it either. <laughs> Maybe three smiling poop emojis and two <laughs> red-faced, angry, frowny faces. This book killed my ability to even. I went into it blindly knowing nothing about the author or the plot. By page 200, all I could think was, please, God, let the big twist be that this cadre... Is that a word? C A D R E. I think it means like a group of people. Okay, mm. but th- am I pronouncing it correctly? I think so. Cadre of obnoxious preppy assholes are time travelers or vampires <laughs> or time traveling vampires, <laughs> and it's not like I even care all that much for books about vampires. I just wanted needed for something to happen, anything. I needed an explanation for why these twenty somethings spoke the way they did, acted the way they did, and why they were such affected little twits. Instead, what I got was loathsome cookie cutter characters. False. An False. idiotic drug fueled bacchanal. Yeah, bacchanal. A real one. How clever. A hundred page funeral and a whole lot of classics references. There's a hundred page funeral in the secret history? Uh, I think at some point. I don't know. <laughs> Good grief. Wait, I can't remember. It's been like three or four years since I Wow. Well, read she, it. she said, I'll never get those hours of my life life back. Wow. It's so good. <laughs> I don't care how beloved it is. Oh, I'm, I was hooked. Wow. Yeah, I, we know. I wish I could talk about it more, but. I no. know. Yeah, it's all right. Well, sorry. I still recommend it. It's spooky. It's fall season coming up. Read the secret <laughs> history. No, I, will... I looked up. This sounds like dumb, but I looked up a Topo Chico one star review. Oh, it's it's from a Mike. I tried finding Mike. some, and I'm really impressed she did. Well, it's not that great, but it just says. Let's hear it. It says it is easy to get that kidney stone. Oh, I saw that. What? Yeah, I don't know. You're That's the gonna... only the only one I could find. Yeah, Topo cause... Chico's give you kidney stones. No, this person's just wrong. I've been terrified about kidney stones lately. <gasps> Don't Why? even say Why? that on this even podcast. Saying, my, I, my body has Matt, not been in pain speak. at all. It hasn't been in any pain. Do you feel like ever since your appendix has been removed, though, do you think you like you experience any pain in your abdomen at all anymore? Um, After I was like convinced that they didn't take the whole appendix and it was going to explode <laughs> so again. Later. Yeah. Um. I mean, I get like gas pains and stuff, but not like... I haven't got any gas pains. That's like, pretty sick. I... I don't know. I haven't had any pain Maybe in my they body. Removed your Nor even though, like, do I get pain track? in my flank, which is like they say where your kidney is. Huh. I haven't gotten any of that. Wow. Also, I've just, I just usually drink water like crazy, but my internals feel great. I'm listening Good. to Rick Rubin's book that he just came out oh, with. Oh, yeah, Rick Rubin. And uh, yeah. there's a part of it where he's like, I don't know why he says this, but he goes, uh, someone once told me if, well, he, sorry, he his stomach was hurting. He went to a doctor and they were like, we're going to need to take your appendix out. And then he's like, okay, let me get a second opinion. He went home and just like opened up a random book. And the book was like, if a doctor ever tells you that they need to remove a piece of your body, don't let them. And then he like changed his diet and like still has his appendix. Don't follow that advice I know. at I'm just all. Like, it's why, is this, <laughs> why is this in the book? It was just like so weird. It's all about like being creative and like. It probably was just never his appendix. Yeah, it was probably. Yeah, yeah that's probably what it was. And he went to some bunk ass doctor. He? Now he's like. 60 i think oh, okay yeah his book's really Dang. good Ex- aside from that weird little section it's yeah. like really good hmm. but what's it called the circle of art or the creative act oh it's just like how to live as a creative have you like, read any more fiction so much kurt vonnegut i've been reading all of his short stories they're so good i've wow. never read slaughterhouse five that one's pretty good you didn't read it in high school no i don't think so i read i always, I always think of fahrenheit 451 that's what no. i read i never Slaughter read House House Five. Five. i never read cat's cradle hocus pocus all that stuff uh, we me and adam he just watched hocus a, pocus he has a book called hocus oh. pocus and it's a kurt vonnegut the just, there's a really good documentary on hulu about him that we just watched last night oh damn we should go to salem oh uh, you know girl that's been my whole tiktok feed lately and it's uh, it's halloween but yeah. don't i heard don't go to salem on halloween you'll have a terrible yeah. time no like i would Cursed. say like the, the farther away from 
yeah, Halloween, the better. The but better. I'm oh, getting yeah. married this year. Like I don't know, my schedule's pretty booked. And Who cares? My, my fall, it's Halloween. My, I, You're gonna really let marriage change your life? Yeah, ew. No, I just. <laughs> well, the three of us can go. <laughs> I've been debating not to even doing my Halloween village this year. I thought you were going to say getting married. <laughs> I know, like, oh my god. <laughs> your Halloween village, well, why? You're, Just too much going when on. When this gets posted, you're only a month away. Ooh, boy. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling really good. I think right now we're getting into just like some like stressful moments. It's not like the wedding itself, but like, have we got the room block for your friends? Do the groomsmen know about the room block? Well, you need to communicate to them, but you got to talk to your mom about this. And it's like, there's just these like of... levels of communication where I'm like, okay, well, who's in charge of that? And then, yeah. I don't know. Ugh. So no, it's going good. I'm just, I don't know. Sometimes I'm, it's like things where it's like, some people are like reaching out to me and asking me questions. And then I feel like, I don't know. Sometimes people are like, you got to tell these people about this. But I'm like, I've never once bothered like a bride and groom about mm -hmm. like their own wedding about this. Or they've never checked in with me as a guest of their wedding to make sure I'm doing this. Yeah. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if I understand, actually. I don't he's know. saying that he, as he's the bride, he's the bride and groom, him and Patricia are the bride yeah. and groom for their wedding. And guests of the wedding are like asking Matt for logistical advice of like, what, where should I fly or where's the hotel? Oh, yeah. I think Whereas, like some things are fine uh, to be asked. But like when Matt, yeah. Matt's never been a guest at a wedding where he was like, like texting I, the, bride the bride and groom, and groom. like, hey, it's, where do I stay? It's on the website. No, and like, I've yeah. been very like, just send them the link. And there's just been some friends who are reaching out. I'm like, did you not look at any yes, of this stuff before you ask me? fucking annoying. Because I never want to bother bride and groom about anything about yeah. their wedding. Never. Maybe if like, it's like my cousin, I'll be like, hey, where's where's all the cool people staying? Let me yeah. know which hotel yeah. that is. That's the only thing I'll ask. But like some logistical stuff. I'm like. No, yeah. People literally would be like, should I wear this? And like send me a picture. And they're like, I'm not like close friends with them. And I'm like. I don't give a fuck yeah. what you wear. <laughs> I had a groomsman ask one. me this one, this like one, dumb one. things like that. Yeah. They're like, you just ask somebody else. Yeah. I had a groomsman ask me, so like the rehearsal dinner, do we have to go to that? I'm like, yeah, you're the you're the groomsman. We have to do the rehearsal. Like, Who was it? I don't want to say. I really don't want to say. And honestly, I was kind of shocked that this person like just Is said it someone it. we know? Uh, yeah, but I'll tell it later. Was yeah. it Kevin? No. <laughs> no, we my brother? Know. That's a joke. Was it a joke. <laughs> no. You have to. You're the only person who actually have actually like of the groomsmen who has booked their room. <clears throat> really? Mm -hmm. That's kind of crazy. Because to do another room block. The, but did you know the room first blocks, hotel they're not filled? That you like have you have to, to pay? pay. Yeah. The Ooh. first hotel is already full, so that's crazy. The room block of it is, yeah. but you can still book the room. I booked my flights for <gasps> Matt's wedding too. Wow, you did it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> How'd it go? <laughs> It's gonna be a rough couple days. <laughs> I know. I'm kind of worried for like some people. Like it's not it's easy. A lot. It's a lot. I feel bad, but should I feel okay. bad? No. no, no, no. Don't feel bad. It's your wedding. That's don't feel bad. Never feel bad no. for your own wedding. Like don't. But I would say like just know that some people it might be too much for them. Yes. I don't care. I'm and, at a point where like I don't yeah. care who comes and who doesn't come. Oh, so we don't have to go. <laughs> no, I'd be disappointed. I'd be disappointed okay. if you, you, I mean. No, of what? course. No, Matt, we're joking. We're but joking. It's like, I'm just saying like in that, like you shouldn't feel bad. Like you're doing. Good. What we you're... already had too many people come to the wedding. No, like, like, let's you're, cut down. You are doing exactly what you want to do. And that's all that matters. But like, obviously with anything, like there's always going to be people who like, for some reason can't make it so like yeah. have yeah. that expectation yeah. cool. it's really nuts how much effort it takes for like a four hour event like you've been yeah, working on true. this for years this is it's two episodes of, it's it's, it's, one, one, it's yeah <laughs> whatever it, it's a year for the amount of time it takes us to like film two episodes of good influences like that's the entire length of the wedding <laughs> yeah. it's like one good that influences day but it takes hours and hours and thought and, and planning and, and outfits and everything insane funny Chat GPT, plan me a wedding. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm gonna have leave we one a, started out. I'm going to leave a one-star review for Matt and Patricia's wedding. Me too. <laughs> I, I went after. all the way to Alabama. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You were me leaving Yelp section. <laughs> Food was fine. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been better. Yeah, Are you stressed those. about it? Uh, No. Okay. Uh, no, but no, not really. Are you worried that I'm going to go and have a Rolodex of everything that I didn't like. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. You got to come Not back in. you, Aaron. No. <laughs> I'm only kidding. We're going to come back and pick that wedding apart. I put a Can day on our filming schedule. Like, we'll be well into, like, October by the time your wedding oh, is. Oh, yeah. Matt wedding episode? Yeah, but I put a day to record when you get back. 
so we could talk about the wedding. We're, wait, we, yeah, we got to figure. out. Wait, well, we got. I got to go on my honeymoon. Wait, you already. <laughs> those oh. maybe it's already on the calendar. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I got to be fair, your wedding is. I'm actually, more excited sometimes about my honeymoon than I am the wedding. You do have to put in your like when you're leaving here dates though. Yeah, because you have your honeymoon, but not like when you're going to be gone for right. your. Wedding. Make sure you guys leave us a five star review. Five, <laughs> please five. Thank you. Uh, everywhere you can leave reviews. Create a Yelp channel for all I care. Yeah, and we'll pay the thousands of dollars so the bad ones go to the end. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, bye. Toodles.